All right, I think it's working. Let me double check. You guys can hear me. Checking my phone real quick. <clears throat> it says upcoming. So fifty two, seven fifty two already. I think it's a lag but we'll keep an eye on that but hello everybody <laughs> welcome to renee's dungeon <laughs> now nah, i'm just uh hanging out it's saturday night and uh with my two dogs so don't worry about if they bark i'll mute the uh, <clears throat> I'll just mute it, but I'm going live just to, I'm working on a project website and, um, it's something that I just thought about and just had an idea of, uh, and I just put it together this morning on Figma. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Now it's working. There you go. Um, so yeah, this is uh, what I came up with. I have other sections too, but we'll get back to that later. Uh, well, what I want to do is just uh, maybe just help people uh, share their their skills and maybe they could um, share it with other people. And just, I'm just going to build a site. It's seemed pretty fun to me. So <clears throat> we come back to this later. <clears throat> But welcome. <laughs> Hit that like button. Is the light pretty good? Is my sound, my microphone doing pretty good? All right, let's start. Um, I'm gonna make a folder inside my projects, inside my front end folder. So, so put my project. All right. Let me go. Let me know what you guys are up to this fine evening. What did you guys do today? I didn't really do much today. Um, to start up my old car, the battery died, so I just uh, jumped it and just uh, took a drive. Sometimes you need that drive just to clear your mind. A drive or a walk. Um, let's go to projects. Front end. There, my project open. I'm starting straight from scratch. I want to see what you guys do first. Like, what's your uh, ritual or something? How do you get into coding? What's your atmosphere? What's your environment? Uh, let me know um, what's your setup. Right now, I have my Mac and my display my asus display a 27 inch and um i have a hyper x microphone hyper x quad cast s i believe i picked that up i have um mx mx keys i believe the logitech came with the bundle i don't know if you could see that it's backlit and it came with the mouse, which I think is pretty fucking cool. <clears throat> then I have this light I got from Amazon. It's pretty cool, it's pretty small. 
Uh, what else? I got this book I'm reading. David Goggins. I'm thinking of chapter three. And I'm really enjoying it. It's more, really motivational. I like it. So we go back to the... Let's go to the point of the thing. Document. Let's change. Let's try this one. That seems pretty cool. So I'm new to OBS. 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 So, um, let me know how do you play uh, music in the background? Because that'd be pretty cool. Just listening to some royal or free music, uh, license free music. Let's see what we got. Let me do this. This one's not here yet. Okay. Let's do that. Change the color of the background for now, so it won't be that bright. Background. Two 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 two. Is that better? So I have here is uh, what I'm going to build. We have a simple logo, simple logo and the nav bar, the title, the subtitle, and the button, and this little bar down here. All right, so let's do the, the nav, the nav bar. I'm building a website. I just came up with an idea, and um, this is what I um, designed right here in Figma this morning. And uh, I'm just um, experimenting with things and see how it comes out. But yeah, I have other, other sections. I don't know if I'm going to get through all this on this live, but... Um, I'm pretty sure we'll get maybe two sections then. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. What are you doing tonight? What are you guys up to? What are you up to? Sorry, I'm just looking at my phone to see the comments. Maybe I should uh, get my tablet over here. That would be too much. Let's put it right here. Yeah, usually I play some music, some uh, synthwave. Um, I follow Don the developer, 
and he got me into synth wave. I didn't know there was such thing as a genre. <laughs> well, I like it. I'd be cool if I could play some right now, but. Uh, right now, I'm an email developer, um, but my goal is to be a front-end developer, and I'm learning some Shopify development, and I'm going through the um, coding phase um, courses right now. You should check them out if you haven't. It's pretty cool. That's why I learned uh, a lot what I learned. and. I didn't even know there's such thing as email development. I didn't know there's a content editor or content producer. Uh, just things that you could get into really quickly and start making some money. And yeah, that's that's what I did. And I was blessed to get recommended for a job at uh, Taylor Guitars. And I've been playing the guitar since. I was 15. I'm 38 right now. So, um, but that's pretty cool. That was like icing on top. But, um, yeah, I was really blessed on that. Well, I, I like it too. I, it's remote. The team is like the best team I've worked for. And I was a stock clerk before, um, for seven years. I started in 20, 2013 and I quit my job. What was it? 2021, I believe. And then I started my own uh, reselling business, like selling on Amazon, on eBay. And um, that's when I came across uh, coding. I was interested in coding before and I was just messing around with it, but I really didn't look into it and just, um, I just dropped it. And this time around, I, I really got into it. The first video was, uh, Chris Sean. I don't know if you guys know Chris Sean. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. What emo course are you taking? Uh, what are you on? Or what part? Yeah, if you have anything up on your portfolio, I can... Let me see it. I wouldn't put it up. I, I, don't, I don't know if you want to, but... Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Coding Phase is... Uh, it gave me a direction. So I like, I like that. I was lost for a while, and... Yeah, I came across his uh, YouTube videos. Oh yeah, man. I really love the the Cody Face community. It's pretty cool. But let's get to coding. All right, I like the style. Let's see, is this working? So. It's, it's really weird not having uh, some music. It's quiet in here, in the house today. But um, uh, WordPress developer, hell yeah. Yeah, man, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, remote job. I'm an email developer. Um, someone. Um, so I did a lot of networking on LinkedIn and uh, one of my connects uh, recommended me to uh, to this position I'm working in and yeah uh, but he saw me what I can do and yeah luckily that he uh, recommended me oh nice man HTML CSS JavaScript nice are you, are you working on any projects? What is it? Uh, foreign? Foreign? Sorry if I mess up your name. 
Yeah, it took me a long time just to grasp uh, the concepts of JavaScript. To this day, I'm still learning, man. That's what I like about uh, development. It's always something new to to learn. logo this is my first time uh, doing a live uh, while I'm coding so uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird but it's cool talking to you guys oh which one I I, I bought a emo course on Udemy as well uh, I forgot his name let's see if I could uh, pull him up real quick but it was a good one. I like the way he. It's called social media. No, that's the HTML email mastery. That's what it's called. I can't see his name. Let's see my learning. Yeah, build responsive email templates. Twenty twenty four. Drew Ryan. Drew Ryan. That's. I bought his course. Then I bought um, Modern JavaScript from Beginning 2.0, Brad Traversy. I like him as well, man. <clears throat> oh, nice. <laughs> That's the one I, I bought too. That's one I took. Oh, yeah, I don't know how it is in Pakistan. That's crazy. Yeah, man, just uh, focus. I'm, I'm finished a Udemy email course. Coding phase is hard to follow sometimes, so I do both. I need to finish a lot of stuff in the next five days. Yeah, man, just focus. Take time at least. Uh, take breaks too. Yeah, you could get burned out real quick. So what do you? Uh, I'm just trying to. Anyway, uh, for Pakistan, I think it's hard to get remote jobs, but I will try. Yeah, man, I don't know how it is in Pakistan. I like, just do your best. Uh, Drew Ryan's course. Yep, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So what do you think which of email would should show on our portfolio? Um, I, there's three. There's a transactional, there's a newsletter, um, and there's a promotional. So those three you should focus on for email portfolio. So let's say this. It's yeah. I'm all, I was always a, a Windows guy. Not I just I just liked whatever could get the job done. But I never the a, Apple was too expensive for me. I remember what was it, back in twenty fifteen. I think I bought myself um, a seven hundred and fifty dollar Asus laptop a 16 inch and that's how I was learning and um, as soon as I got that job oh man uh, the guy that recommended me to this position he recommended me to get a, a Mac a M3 I didn't even know the M3 was out <clears throat> I didn't even know what was the difference between M1, M2, M3 I'm like alright I got him I always wanted a, an Apple. I like both. I like Mac. I like Windows. I like Linux. I recently bought a framework, a laptop. I don't know if you guys heard of framework. Um, it's really crazy. 
If you haven't heard about it, you should check them out. Framework. Um, let me uh, let me let me get the laptop so we can show you guys. Hold on. Nice M1. Yeah, man. I don't. If it works for you, then oh yeah, this is a framework laptop. It's a 13-inch. I bought it uh, the beginning of the year. I was gonna buy a 16-inch, but they were on um, back order. It's a fairly new company. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to give you like a best. Let's see. So these are held down by magnets. This whole thing right here. This whole thing. The keyboard and the, the mouse. Um, I put it together. I bought the, the RAM, the memory. Um, I didn't buy the OS, I just installed Linux on it, but I needed a Windows for work as well, so. And these expansion cards, they come off. So right now I have a USB-C and a HDMI on one side, a USB-C and a USB-A, USB-A, there we go. And a, a mic, I mean, for the headphones, headphone jack. Uh, you could take them off, watch. It's kind of, look at this. So it's a USB-C and it has an HDMI. And you just click it back in. There you go. Let me put it next to the mic so you can hear that click. There you go. Yeah, I like it. Maybe I'll get a card on to see how the the ratio of the of the display is pretty crazy. I never had a, a laptop like this. It's pretty light. You can take on the go. You travel. Let's see. Let me go and it's pretty fast too. Um, So this is how it looks. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah. The keyboard is backlit. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool too, cause, uh, let me see. You can control the brightness FN key and the space bar. I don't know, there's three levels. One, two, three. Yeah, I really like um, programming on this computer too. Nice and portable. So you guys uh, want a small laptop. Let me shut this down. Macs are nice, yeah, Macs are nice, really nice. Uh, when I first got my Mac and I was uh, setting everything up, it was like a breeze. It was a breeze. It was very nice. I had to do a lot and I got into it real quick. Framework PC, you say? Yeah, Framework PC. What's your reviews? Reviews on the, the framework? I like it. I upgraded the, the memory. No, the RAM. I upgraded the RAM to 32 gigs. 
I bought it with a 16 and um, I was going to use it for because uh, I'm learning uh, some XR development at um, coding phase as well. I was going to use it for that, but I, 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 at the end of the day, I want this laptop to be a Linux, to have Linux on it. And I need a, maybe another laptop for Windows <laughs> and maybe for gaming. I don't know. But yeah. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't know about the framework. You should uh, check out um, how how it's built and all that. It's, uh, you should just check them out. I like their company. I like their ethos. Yes, modular. Yep, exactly. So it's, if something breaks, they, the the battery, the display, the expansion cards, um, whatever it is, you could just buy it. It's not even that much. It's not even that expensive. So I don't know. I just uh, I really was interested in it, and I just researched, you know, the owner and how they make it and I don't know I thought it was pretty cool so I supported them and um, maybe down the line uh, I'm gonna buy the 16 inch with the uh, with the graphics card they could have it's a removal graphics card so that's pretty cool <laughs> so I'm gonna do the next one now So in my let's change this up to over here. Have you guys used uh, OBS before? I recently just heard about it because uh, I just wanted to do live streaming and record my videos, but I never. It's like the first time I ever went live on this. Let me move myself a little bit more over here. Today uh, was a little windy. It was raining in the morning. Slept in. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, it's more than the computer when you need. Yeah, I play only DOTA. What type of games do you play? Uh, well, I haven't played in a long time. I used to play um, Call of Duty back in <laughs> back in my day. Uh, I believe it's Modern Warfare. I think the first one. Dude, that changed the game. My brother and I, we just... We played for shit. to like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Probably longer. But I, I stopped for a while because... That game pissed me off. <laughs> nope, I used it once for a screen recording only. I'm playing. Oh, cool. But what games do you guys recommend? Mm, I'm gonna start going back into it. And what uh, computer are you using for gaming? I've seen a lot of reviews. I can't even make up my mind which one to even research. All right. Um, okay, we got a logo. Three, four, five. Let's do this. Yep. 
I'm recently uh, I was creating a, a website using Tailwind for a project for a Shopify developer, and uh, it's pretty cool. Tailwind, I I know Bootstrap, and they're kind of similar, but yeah, um, Tailwind was pretty cool. Have you guys tried Tailwind or Bootstrap? Oh man, the MacBook. <laughs> Since it was my first one and I barely got the job and I really needed a computer. So this one, I was going for a 14 inch uh, MacBook M3, MacBook Pro. And I was looking at the silver and they just came out with a space uh, black one, which is dark gray. <laughs> And, um, so when I went to Best Buy, I, I was convinced to get a 16 <laughs> and those were running a lot. There's like 2000 something, but I'm like, fuck it. You know, it's a good machine and yeah, it has been, I really like the battery life and how cool it stays. Sometimes it gets a little warm, but. Nothing to complain about. I love it. Okay, you got that. Let's see, resets. Do a new file. Read the comments real quick. Uh, is there any notable difference between your Mac and your Windows machines? Um. Well, my old PC, it's very old, <laughs> but it was a gaming laptop and it still runs to this day without a problem. It's just the fans, the fans goes off and I didn't mind it until I got into Max. I didn't hear, I don't hear anything, which is pretty cool, but, um, just depends on what you're doing, right? Um. Uh, Mac and your Windows machines. I say battery life is a major one for for me on a Mac. The difference between the PC and my Mac is the battery life for sure. But this new one, the framework, it's pretty good. Just uh, just practicing uh, my well, developing my projects and watching YouTube here and there. I could easily go six to eight hours um, and I tried to play some games I, I tried um, what was it I think a racing game and the fans went off like it was a silly fan but no nah. but yeah it was pretty cool I, the graphics were were pretty good it was a cool game Uh, purpose. Oh, okay. Nice, dude. You guys, you upgraded for, I paid 2300 for an M1 Pro 14, 16 gigabytes. And how's it running? Is it still running? I'm pretty sure it is. <clears throat> I'm always curious about uh, other people's setups. I, like, I want to see, say, like, uh, Joe's setup or, like, uh, I know Brad Travis, he, he did a, a walk around of his workstations. And, man, that was that's what I like. That's what I like looking at. And um, it's pretty cool just uh, look just what they work with, you know? Nice. <laughs> so yeah, now I know what to expect out of a Mac and how long, how long do, do they run for and how long do Macs usually go for? Like, what the hell? Oh, the resets. Yeah, how long do they last normally? Resets. Uh, 
Let's put all this in here. Let's just add color. Let's uh, add a font to you. Mm. Forgot it. I don't know. That in the color. Let's get rid of this. Let's start it. Uh, You know who I follow and they're pretty good with uh, CSS is uh, Kevin Powell. He's really good. I think one of his courses is pretty good. That and uh, for designing Gary Simon uh, design course. Uh, that was really good too. I bought a MacBook in 2019. It's a 15 inch MacBook Pro, 32 gig RAM, and one terabyte SSD storage. It's Intel chip, though. Nice. Still runs good, but I feel the updates have started to break the computer and it's become a little slow lately. It's time for a new one. Uh, could you sell those? Can you resell those? Maybe get some money out of it and buy a new one. I'll never buy Windows again. Yeah, I understand. The quality of MacBook and longevity is just too good. Yeah, it's true. Just depends on what you're looking for. I think Joe's running a fully loaded M2 MacBook Pro Max can run for years. My laptop came out of 21. I'm gonna upgrade in M26. Nice. Cool, man. Hell yeah. Uh, do you run it on um, on a display? on Because uh, I'm running uh, Asus 27-inch uh, uh, display. Oh, okay. Got it. It's not... The resale value is very small. Got it. Yeah, it's cool to see you guys in here, man. Uh, thank you for your your time, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe just check out what I'm, you know. I just want to get out there and just hang out with, just hear from people. Uh, all right, let's do this. Yeah, luckily I bought the, the Mac just in time because my old one, I don't know why, there's a program that we use um, and I wasn't getting it. And luckily when I got the Mac, because I wasn't planning on using the Mac for a while for, for work. But I set it up real quick and it was a breeze, like I said, like it was easy. But yeah, I do get why people just buy Macs and just use those. Three monitors? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, how many inches? Uh, the 27 inch? or What do you think of the, the new display from Apple? Or well, not new, but... Because the guy that I recommended me, he bought one. So I'm thinking, like, uh, is it that good to get? Or just, like, whatever. Because me personally, I'd rather just get, you know, another dis Asus display. I don't care. Just it, it helps me work. It helps me out. And programs.
You know what I'm also interested in is uh, people's um, this right here. Their colors, the color theme. As you can tell, I have a lot. Look at that. <laughs> I know this. A lot of people have this one. AU dark. That's pretty cool. That um, I think this one's. Oh, I was using this one already. Tokyo Night. Let's see. Check out this one. Ruby Blue. I don't know. Sometimes during the day, I just change it up. This one's pretty cool. This is really black. I came across this one. The blackboard's pretty cool too. <laughs> They're all pretty cool. I don't know, I like these and this one. Uh, not this one. This one. Yeah. Yeah, I have a 15 inch dual screen setup. I'm mobile ready when I get hired as an email. Hell yeah, man. You're gonna get there. Just be patient, uh, be persistent, and never give up. Uh, I know sometimes the rejection from companies could be discouraging, but you just have to put your head down, just focus, and if you're with coding phase, attend those uh, accountability meetings and ask questions because that's that's how you're going to grow and that's how you learn and that's how you're going to get a job. For me, I asked so many questions. Um, luckily, he saw my resume and my resume sucked, even though I went on Fiverr and hi hired a, a lady to do my resume and I should have done my research and she 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 didn't do a good job um but luckily um uh, i want to shout out he has a channel too it's eric aguayo go check him out he's from coding face too he's he's doing uh some content that's pretty cool to see him out there shout out what's up eric <laughs> um but yeah um just focus if you really want it you know i i applied for almost a year before i got my position well luckily i got recommended and got a job but i was getting interviews uh i would say maybe uh, not that many and um I just get phone interviews and to this day i i sometimes <clears throat> Just to see if, like what the market is, and I just apply and I get rejected. And even though I have experience, uh, yeah, you just have to go, man. You just have to keep at it. As far as email development, are you using ghost tables on the regular, or are you using just an ESP all the time when you're working? Um, we're using Litmus. Uh, that's most of the, but I use Parcel. It was recommended me by, um, by one of my connects from LinkedIn, uh, Andrew. And I started using that, it's called Parcel. Let me put it up actually. Um, I'm already on it to Parcel.io. Let me move myself out of the way. Let's go right here. Uh, this is like a project of mine, but um, oh, let's just do one of these. But yeah, uh, let's make this bigger actually, so you guys can see it. So you have your files right here and uh, 
your workspace and this is how it comes out. Um, ghost tables, uh, we don't use, <clears throat> oh, I was explaining. So I use this sometimes, Parcel, and just put it into uh, Litmus. And uh, from there, um, you can check the responsiveness to see if anything's messing up. Uh, ghost tables, um, I rarely use ghost tables, but I need to learn more, actually, to be honest. Because it's just pretty, um, shit. Yeah, it's pretty uh, kind of complicated. But that course from the Udemy course from Ryan, uh, Drew Ryan, he talks about that. And yeah, you just have to sit down and maybe learn ghost tables one day. Um, Oh, and, uh, yeah, Ivan Hurt. Yeah, he's the one that uh, did my resume. I was talking about that, and I just go off. <laughs> yeah, Ivan Hurt, like, he, he helped me, too. After he did my resume, he, uh... Uh, hello, Jocelyn. <laughs> hello there. Um, but yeah, after he did my resume, he helped me with my LinkedIn profile. He endorsed me for a couple of uh, skills, which uh, that was pretty cool. I just told him that I was from Coding Phase, and yeah, he helped me out. And uh, he told me... Um, he even did a banner for me and he told me like what to put uh, certain things and um, yeah, he uh, helped me a lot. And I also follow, um, I keep on forgetting his damn name on LinkedIn. I watched, um, one of his lives. Uh oh. Here we go. I uh, have it on my page. I have it right here. An activity. Oh, where is he at? Oh, she's pretty good too. And and Tomlin. She has a course out for beginners. Uh, like if you're a beginner, and yeah, I think it's pretty good. I heard that she's coming out with another course, like a more advanced course. So I want to check that one out. Let me see if I can find it. This guy right here, Rod H. Dannon. Uh, he has another person. She's pretty cool. They're both like really helpful. They go, um, review other people's LinkedIn profiles and to see like what would stand out and like with her, uh, she's pretty good. Let me take out the off. Oop. What the hell did I do? Let me fast forward so we can see her. Does that let me? And today uh -oh. I'm So he's a founder and CEO of Prentice and hers, uh, Andrea Logan, a career coach. Uh, she's pretty good too. <laughs> she's funny. She makes me laugh. You guys should check them out. Um, but yeah, that helped me a lot because they talked about, let me, uh, there we go. Let's fast forward. So they go over uh, profiles, other people's profiles, and like, all right, you know, I'll add this or take out this. I'll add a picture here or just add, you know, three, um, what do you call them? Let me go back. 
many colleagues. Uh, featured. Just had three of these. So it could be like uh, so people could see them and not just scroll. But yeah. Um, she's uh, that girl. Andrea, she said to use uh, icons just to make it, you know, fun and eye catching. So, yeah, um, let's go back to my project. <laughs> just want to share a couple of things with you guys. Uh -oh. What's going on here? Where's my other hair? <clears throat> nope. What's wrong with this? Do you see that? That's weird, huh? I don't think that happened to me before. I just put this one away. Finally. I need some privacy to finish because I've been uh, procrastinating bad. Yeah, man. Uh, untimed uh, purpose. <sighs> yeah, sometimes we just need motivation from someone or, you know, something. Um, I usually go for walks. Um, I take my dogs out for walks. That helps me a lot just to think about um, what my next move or uh, just what I need to focus on. Um, or And exercising, too, really helps. But I'm glad, man. I'm like... Uh, yeah, hopefully I can make this a uh, regular thing on Saturdays or maybe I'll find a day. Um, so we can just hang out and see what you're working on, see what I'm working on. But yeah, um, let's get, uh, but I'm glad like, to see other, it's cool to see uh, people doing their best and because they really want that. I want to see that. I want to see people's success succeed. I wonder, like, that's got to be how Joe must feel, like, really helping people to get jobs and all that. That must feel really good, man. And that's why I believe he keeps on doing it. How's my audio? I'm, like, maybe, like, a foot away from the microphone. Just let me know if I'm too low, too high. All right. Um, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Sorry if uh, okay, where's mother? <clears throat> oh perfect okay i have it on number four it's pretty cool like this HyperX, the volume knob is on the on the bottom and it has like the five dots it has a rgb uh, microphone cover and on top you can just need it like right now, I'm muted. I'm muted. <clears throat> Get involved in events. I really like this keyboard too. And I, I'm glad I, I got this. Uh, I really don't like the, the one that makes too much, too many noise or too much noise. I don't like those. 
I, I, I wish if there's one that was silent, I'll get that one. <laughs> what about you guys? What what kind of keyboard do you guys have? Just a regular old keyboard. I had a, I bought a cheap one on Amazon, a wired one. Like, I heard uh, wired ones are pretty good, uh, so you won't get hacked or something. And it was pretty good, but I like this one because it's not that noisy. Can you hear it? On my earphones, I can't hear that. So, so let me know if it if it bugs you guys. Yeah, I I took a uh, a Salesforce bootcamp. Um, it was last year in March, the end of March, I believe. Hell yeah. Are you actually getting the certificate or are you just getting uh, the certificate of completion? Because I just got the certificate of completion because there was another course that I had to take in order for me to actually take the test. And the, the test is um, expenses, I, I heard. Keytron. Is it Keytron or Keytron? <laughs> K2 keyboard. It's loud though. Oh, you like them loud? <laughs> you like your keyboard like you like your women? It's <laughs> messing around. Events and contact. Events. And let's go to resets. Let me see. So you guys can see it. That's good for now. Let's, let's see if I could do this if it's big enough to oh, I'm still over here <laughs> let me put myself right there yeah this is my first time using OBS um, I still gotta learn a lot more because I heard you could have your <clears throat> like a timer or like a, an image first and you could just transition so you're actually recording, actually, uh, or you're displaying. <clears throat> but anyways, um, let's try this. I think I have. I think I have room. Target the nav. Let's put a regular um, color to it. I'm not gonna do the gradient right now. Let's try Dodger Blue. Or try black. And the blue is better. I bought the full certificate to get a voucher to test study guide and the voucher site is focused on force. Nice, man. Um, you said, are you moving through my, are you learning yet or that's cool, man. I, I heard that they start you off pretty well. 
I think they start you off like at 85000 a year. That seems pretty good to me. <laughs> to start? Oh, yeah. Background. And I don't know, I'm going to need some padding. Usually I use uh, SAS. SAS is pretty cool, man. But I just wanted to do like a really simple live so people can follow. But yeah, maybe in the next stream or something, I could add SAS. SAS. And next time I'll I'll find out how to play some music because you guys, you guys get to hear some music in the background. <clears throat> no, it's not. The, oh, I'm doing it wrong. It's supposed to be like this. I wasn't paying attention. That um. Yeah, this past, uh, well, yesterday at work, um, we had to do some project. Well, there's a lot of, there was just, uh, I think there was like 50 emails, but just, you know, just to edit each one. And I, I was in a row. I was in a groove. I like that when you're in a groove and like two hours pass by and you're like, damn, it's already three. And you started like at 11. <laughs> It's more of the same, like the stuff we studied for the six week boot camp, but no class and no teacher to go over. Oh, okay. So it's a self paced. Uh, okay, self paced. We're going to pick a. Logo content. Let's put a uh, between. Oh, space between. You know what I really like about VS Code and is Emmet. Man, that shit makes it look really easy. And I'm pretty sure there's other programs that makes it that make it look this Figma one is pretty cool. That just came out with. I believe you can just uh have it your Figma like if I was referenced in referencing this one, it'll come out right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, Renee, did you take the tech accelerator with Cody face? Yes. Um, but I, I don't know what the tech accelerator was. I had to do, had to do my research and I just asked the community and, but, um, and I asked Joe, but yeah, I took it. Um, uh, I want to say like six months, uh, three to six months. That was not six months. It was like maybe four months into Cody phase. Because uh, I heard a lot of people uh, buy the text, uh, text accelerator, sorry, tech accelerator, 
and they got jobs so I was like shit man like uh, it cost this much um back then it was uh 200 which you know if you're not making money that's a lot and I just did it man like I I did um like things to um invest in myself and like uh I'm like all right I'm investing in myself and yeah, I took the that program, and yeah, I that's where I was uh, applying for a lot of jobs. As they have a job list, uh, and a um, a job keyword thing, so you could um, apply to different titles and all that. But I did take it. Yeah, Mac dude, twenty twenty. Are, are you new to uh, coding phase? Have you attended the accountability meetings? <laughs> I like going to those. I always, like, for a whole year, I never missed a, a meeting. Uh, that was pretty cool. I'm proud of myself to do that. But um, it's cool to see new faces and, like, old school um, OGs in there. Um, but, yeah, I like hearing... And seeing like their uh, the new people's progress, like their their work, I'm like, damn man, that's that is pretty cool. Like pretty cool projects, and they you, you could tell um, their excitement. I like that. I like seeing that. Let me make a. Where is that? Or is it uh, like that? <sighs> oh yeah, I'm a diamond member, member too. But you should uh, check out the uh, Monday meetings. Um, he has it at seven Eastern. So over here, uh, in California, it's four. And um, and with Karen too, Karen helped a lot. I it finally it finally clicked for me on one of her um, workshops, uh, how to build the email. And I was I was lost on a table tr td and when to put this or put that. She really helped, and she's really cool. That's why I got this uh, microphone because I heard her. I uh, said that she has the HyperX, so I just checked that out and I bought one. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. And it looks pretty cool, too. I'll show you guys. Let me see. I changed this color. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it now. It's on a stand. So it's a mute button on top. If I press it, it will turn off. And on the bottom, it has the volume. So, yeah. Put it on mute. Yeah, man, like you have procrastinating. I think you just have to put um you have to see the big picture and uh know your why and like why you're doing this like for me i like i want to to be honest when i first got into coding this this second time around and i heard uh chris sean uh on one of his videos on how much you can make and how quickly you can be a, a developer i bought into it but it was for the money and when i started on code with mosh HTML and CSS courses, I realized that, yeah, um, it's more of uh, problem solving. And I'm like, damn, problem solving, huh? And I kept on learning and yeah, that's what I found out. It's problem solving and I really enjoyed that. And it wasn't about the money. I wasn't even getting anything. I was just like, all right, man, I just, this is what I like to do and just 
I like starting new projects like how I am right now. Like I get excited because I'm pretty sure like someone would say, oh, you know, you know, this one, this way will be better or whatever. Just, I don't care. Just learn. I don't have, well, it's really hard not to have ego and have pride, but uh, I'm trying to set that aside and just be a student. If you're young and you can, you can teach me some stuff, I don't care. If I'm older than you, just learn, man. <laughs> Put that ego aside and um, just focus on yourself and try to learn as much as you can. Yeah, I, I had those days too that I didn't want to do shit. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I just, I'm like, all right, I just accept it. I don't want to do shit. I don't do anything, no coding that day. But the next day, I'll jump on it and just work as much as I can. And I applied. I started, uh, I think, 8 in the morning. I did it. I took breaks and everything, but I did it, um, like, for four or five hours. Uh, applying. And then I, after that, I just uh, went on the courses, whatever I had to learn. And yeah, I think that would be the day. But don't, uh, for me, I thought, like, all right, on to the next video, on to the next video. Give yourself um, like a certain time, like an hour, two, two hours a day. And just break them up every, you know, 20 minutes to take a break. And um, allow yourself to... Just to, you know, just take a break and step back for a bit. Yeah. I come from a family that's perfectionist. And sometimes I find myself being, I'm like, all right, this shit needs to be this much to the left or this much to the right or whatever. <laughs> you said accept it and just move on because you're not going to get anywhere if you're just nitpicking or you know I'm trying to be everything perfect like I found out uh what project was I doing um on one of my projects I just put everything into code I didn't care how it looked and I because I could just go back and like all right I have all this layout and all right let's focus on the header on the nav um the font family or whatever the and then how big this should be, you can go back. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's really hard when you have a full time. But yeah, that's why um, if you don't have uh, time after work, maybe get up early in the morning, maybe like an hour before. When everyone's asleep. Yes, yeah, the, the road is going to be hard. But when you go over that hill or just on top of the hill. Well, when you go for something and you land that job or yeah, that job. You're going to be like, it's it was worth it. So just uh, how you say it, uh, uh, embrace the suck as they call it. Embrace the suck. I got my dogs. I got one of them right here. Her name is Katara. This is your YouTube debut, look. She's a Chihuahua mix. And Katara, uh, I, I'm like, I had to come out with the, I had to give her a cool name. And I thought about that last Airbender. And uh, that character of Katara is pretty cool on that show. <sighs> All right, um, let's focus on this. Never logo.
Mm. Font size. Well, that's too big. <laughs> Do it like that. All right, moving on to the menu. Is the lighting pretty good? Uh, maybe I should turn this a white. Like that it's too bright. Maybe like that. Let's see. What do you suggest building your portfolio first or projects first? Uh, I just go by what um, Joe recommended was uh, to buy a portfolio, uh, a template, and just customize it and just work on your projects instead of building this, wasting time building your, your portfolio website. And you have time for your projects, and so you just customize it. Uh, make sure you get the HTML and CSS version template, because I was a dumbass and got a um, what was it? Um, I got the first one was uh, fuck what was it? I'm gonna look at it right now, but it was a different one. I think it was uh like bootstrap or something like that. And I didn't even know bootstrap. So I didn't know how to customize it. I tried hard, but I sh it was like a one page uh, portfolio and a dark mode. Joe's like, no, it did, did not stand out. And I'm like, shit, you know, and, but yeah, I, I looked up, I looked up the templates and I got the HTML and CSS version and, um, I just bought it. I think it's like nine bucks. And I just took out all the shit that I need and just customize it. And yeah, I think starting off just buy a template is faster. So yeah, so you can give you time for your projects. Just work on your projects, man. You can turn you projects into your portfolio. You can turn your projects into your portfolio. Oh, where are you guys from? I know somebody was from Pakistan, right? Um, I'm in California, Southern California. Um, let's do this. OK. 
Okay, I just need to uh, margin. I know there was a party in my neighborhood because I've seen a lot of cars, but it's freaking quiet for Saturday night. Usually you would hear uh, some Spanish bands or a DJ. Freaking quiet today, tonight. Where did you buy your portfolio? Um, uh, theme Forest. Theme Forest. Let's see. Yeah, Theme Forest. So it's T H E M E F O R E S T. That's Theme Forest. And uh, there's a like a search thing, a search bar, and just look up HTML and just put portfolio or personal portfolio. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. That's where I go. All right, Texas, how's the weather over there? I know I heard a lot of people uh, moved from California to Texas, and hopefully they didn't bring the political side of, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Louisiana, damn, deep south. That's what they call it, deep south. Uh, I know Theo Vaughn is from there. La Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, man, he's funny, Theo Vaughn. I meant that the job he wanted to do, he could do the projects that are needed on the portfolio to master, then just put the finished projects on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I know I, I wanted to build my own um, portfolio and, but yeah, he's right. Uh, Joel's right. Just to hurry up the process and get you applying, man. Do you miss the Do you miss the beach? It's funny because my girlfriend and I were talking and like, oh, what if we move somewhere, um, and we'll we'll miss the the beach, and we're like, yeah, we already go to the beach, so <laughs> we go like once a year probably. But that's cool, man. I, I'm glad that you guys are here. And um, I'll probably go for like another half hour or something. Um, but yeah, just my first live. Well, uh, successfully, I hope. I tried in the past and I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and I got into OBS and I'm like, oh, that's how people are recording themselves. Cool. All right, that beach here, in Texas, not as good. Um, what about the weather? Like, do you miss the California weather? I want to go visit Texas. Uh, we used to go by when we used to go to Mexico. We used to pass through Arizona, uh, New Mexico, and a part of Texas. Texas was the longest to to cross. It was a big ass state, but um. I think that's the, we never stop, you know, to go, we just stop to get gas or, uh, to eat at restaurants. And it's cool because you, um, you experience other cultures or, you know, other people than California it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, the Mexican food, <laughs> I'm surprised that Texas doesn't have good Mexican food. I would think they have a lot of Mexicans that know how to cook Mexican food. <laughs> uh, I do. 
I went on a class trip for like a high school class trip back in the day. Uh, we went to Cancun, and I was pissed because I guess, well, I'm pretty sure now they have places that have burritos, but they didn't have burritos. I'm like, what the fuck? This is Mexico. <laughs> How can you not have burritos? They were like, well, we don't have burritos. We have fajitas. I'm like, all right, I guess. But yeah, it was fun. That's funny, Cancun. Uh, let's try to to do to do this gradient. Uh, let's close this up. Oh, you know what? You know what I missed? I want to show you the the guy that got me in that recommended me. Uh, oh, I, there you go. This guy right here. Go check him out. Give him a like. Um, leave a comment that I sent you. And tell him what's up. Uh, all right. Get rid of that. Yeah, Parcel's pretty cool. Just check that one out, too. Uh, what's it called? Um, gradient generator. <clears throat> Can't really see it. Um, this one's pretty cool right here, too. Copy. There we go. Because I'm in the way. You see that? There is a generator. Just in the way. Yeah, I think I like that one better than this one. But I see it, it seems like everybody has this kind of gradient. They have some called Tex Mix. Yeah, I heard about that. But it Americanized Mexican food. Yeah, Texas is where it's at. I don't know anyone that moved. It hasn't been successful on ice. Tex Mex is like eating at Chili's. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Chili's, uh, what about, um, man, what's up with me today? They have, um, I don't know if I can try. Chipotle. That's what I'm trying to get at. I tried a rice burrito there with white rice. Never again. It's not that it's bad or, well, it doesn't have any flavor. Well, for me, I'm speaking for myself. A lot of people like it, but I really go on a street uh, vendors. Like I was going to go tonight, but I started streaming. I'm like, nah. I'll probably eat something in a bit. All right. Let's do the hero. It won't take that long. Think of it's good for your. Okay. 
get rid of the header. Well, I'll just hide it. And the section will be hero. Hero content. Um, so let be just this right, H1. Was it? Let's copy this. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, like with this mouse, the MX uh, Master, MX Master 3S mouse, there's a little button on the side. I have no idea. Let's see if we can. This is a button. I had no idea it was a button. You can hear it, maybe. You hear that? So I just transitioned the display with that. That's pretty cool. And has a little scrolling thing, the little wheel. Little wheel. And that's for the tabs right here. Like, say, if I'm in the browser, look at that. How fast. <laughs> Technology now is pretty cool. Okay. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. Peace out. Work on the projects. I want to see you in the coding phase. You're in the coding phase. <laughs> Thanks, man. This background is the FA. Is it? I uh, can't see. Oh, it's F. This is all F. Let's make it all.
you see in the bigger screen. this and I'll be off do you guys uh, go on twitch and see other people coding because I uh, feel like I want to do that as well I'll be pretty cool So for everybody, uh, if you haven't touched that like button, where are you guys from? I know some uh, Texas and Louisiana. That's cool, Louisiana. Move on to the the title. Let's try this. Kind of want it bigger than that. Hmm. That was pretty good. Um, what else? All right. Mm. Let's just copy this. I believe it's one point one two five. Let's put a uh, what do you guys uh, do you guys listen to music when you guys code or what do you guys do do you guys keep it silent um, do you guys uh, do you guys have that little walking uh, treadmill underneath your desk <laughs> uh, top Put right here. Not make a difference. Let's keep it there. Let's go for a point. Let's keep it right there. Let's target the button.
So let's also put the gradient on this button. We can get rid of this. some dogs barking hold on I'm gonna put you on mute back um, bar let's do this and I think we're done for the header and the um, hero section and all I could do is copy this Content. I know it was an absolute. And with, it's not going to be that much. I think, um, let's try fifty percent. Background would be this right here as well. That's not where we want it. That's not where we want it. <laughs> to go to I believe this right here I believe at the left you know will be pretty good to do and see
really see it that well. Let's close this. Let's close this and go to right there. Make this larger. Um, it top uh, right radius uh, I believe it's seven pixels sorry for the Just uh, almost done with this. I think it's good. Um, height, I think it should be. Let me write that. Let's go. Put it on side to side. Try one RAM, run M. Hmm. I think right now we'll be good. Let's just center it. think it's better to have this let's see um, so instead of putting it where am I uh, here there you go that's under <laughs> Let 
That's better. I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna stop right there. What's up, people? What's up in the chat? Say what's up. If you just came in, say what's up. Um, just finishing up this hero section for this website. And I think I sh I think this. Let's get rid of the, let's make this. Like that. I could go a little bigger on that. Let's do... Yeah, I could go. <laughs> Thanks, man. What I'm working on um, to get better at is my designs. <clears throat> I, I took this course uh, while well, I'm still taking the course of Gary Simon's design course. But yeah, just, um, just to make it look decent <laughs> but we'll see we'll see how this comes out this will be episode one maybe this will be episode two or something <clears throat> but um yeah, it's pretty good uh, it's pretty cool uh, doing a live and uh, having people to chat with. <clears throat> let's do that and let's make this a little bigger. So I like doing side by side, it was better. Close screen. This I get this like that. Yeah, sometimes I get, get lost in this. Put the width on this right here. So it won't be that big. up a little bit more huh. hey what's up Eric I was just talking about you earlier man I told them to uh, go hit you up and tell them I sent I sent them to your channel to follow you. How's everything, man? What are you doing? Working on any projects or something or another video? <laughs> your videos are pretty clean, man. I like them. But what I need to do, I think on is it this one. Um, make it open up a new browser.
Uh, I like uh, watching the um, the streamers right here. It's pretty cool. You can just check them out. L A O C T V dot TV. He just goes around and just uh, reports the news, records the news. It's pretty cool. He's a really good guy. He helps out the homeless too as well. And he's live right now. It's pretty cool. It's, he's in L.A. And uh, I believe he he lives in uh, Orange County. Oh, yeah, Eric. Keeping, keeping busy. <laughs> That's cool, man. Hell yeah. Probably have the reason I'm right here. I'm trying to find your channel so people can. There he is. <laughs> this one right here. Go subscribe to him. Hell yeah, dude. Little by little. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, um, I was getting lost in this shit. So yeah, I just, um, finish, finishing up this, uh, project that I was making. The gradient is a little different. I don't know if uh, I should change it to this. I don't know. This one looks better, but I think it's too much. We'll see on the next uh, live. I hope you guys will join me. Maybe uh, I'll figure out how to play music so you guys can hear uh, music in the background. All right. Uh, let's put this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, man. All right, uh, everybody. Whoever came in, thank you. Um, catch you on the next one. Um, if you guys need some help or something, just contact me. I'll, I'll have um, some contact links in the description. And um, just talk some tech, talk tech. <laughs> yeah there you go subscribe to him to Eric alright everybody peace out until the next one <laughs> what the hell are those balloons <laughs> alright Let's see if I could uh, exit out this streaming. There we go. All right, man. Everybody, thanks for coming by. Till next um, live. See you guys later. Bye.